Undoubtedly, you already have it by heart. Almost all of the dialogues of Toy Story. You are a toy! Although, I could bet you let slip many details and hidden stories. It's a planet. Andy! Pay close attention because these toys have something more to reveal to you in. 20 Hidden Secrets in the Saga of Toy Story Number 1. Mickey the Meddler Mickey loves to sneak into the company's movies, and Toy Story 3 was no exception. I discovered him trying to go unnoticed inside a wall clock in the small Andy's room. Did you notice this mischief? The appearance of Mickey in the recordings of Andy's mother shows that it was always there, even since the beginning of the saga. But so that there's no doubt of this brazen interference in the movie, we see him again in a box of chocolates in Sunnyside. How daring! <laughs> How much trouble can it be? Number 2. Made in Taiwan The editor and director of Toy Story, Lee Unkrich, revealed that they had more than 200 alternatives to name this successful saga. What a dilemma! Uh, here we go. Among these options was Made in Taiwan. This is what we saw on the arm of Buzz Lightyear when he discovers that he's really a toy and has an existential crisis. Well, who wouldn't? Uh -oh. I do. Well, that's just great. Even I'll check my arm right now, just in case. Other options were the new toy, moving buddies, and even the unforgettable phrase to infinity and beyond was part of the list. Which one would you have chosen? Number 3. The Origin of Andy's Name I know that there was a lot of speculation about this, but according to Ralph Guggenheim, the producer of Toy Story, the team reviewed the names of the children of all Pixar employees to name Woody's owner, until finally Andy was chosen in honor of this man. How? Who is he? Well, well, lucky who we have here. He's Andy Lucky, Bud Lucky's animator's son, the fifth employee of Pixar and the creator of Woody. Of course, now he's 53 years old. Does he look like Andy or not? No! No, no! 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 Tell me in the comments. Number 4. Andy University Since I'm talking about the smiling Andy, let me tell you one more secret about the beloved owner of Woody. Now that he's a college student, Andy will attend the state university, so he will have to decide the fate of his beloved toys. In a letter placed on his corkboard, I discovered that the address of this university is the same as the Pixar Studios located in Emeryville, California. Wow, it's possible that the writers have prepared a career in animation for this character. Boom! Number 5. Wink to Jurassic Park In Toy Story 2, while the characters are touring inside Al's toy barn into an adorable toy car driven by the beautiful Barbie guide, I'm tour guide Barbie! Rex falls, and when he tries to climb back up, Mr. Potato Head sees it in the rearview mirror. What do you remember when you watch this? All right, all right, next day. Obvious! The scene of the Jurassic Park 1 movie from 1993, where a T-Rex appears chasing the scientist team in a jeep. At least Mr. Potato Head did not end up like the baldy of the bathroom. Be more careful, Rex! Remain seated, please. Number 6. Are you Rex? Can you imagine the adorable Rex with another appearance? Maybe a more aggressive one? I don't Rex. Believe it or not, at the beginning, the creators thought that Rex must be an Apatosaurus, one of the most robust dinosaurs from the Jurassic period which had a weight of up to 22 tons. Although at the end, they decided that it had to be a T-Rex. Well, I didn't know we were supposed to have one already. And honestly, it was the best decision in the world because there is nothing sweeter in this world than when you see Rex very nervously moving his short legs. Let's see, give me a hug, Rex. Oh, yeah, you, you can't. Oh, well, we tried. Sorry, I'd better go on to the next number. How do you spell FBI? My crimes! Number 7. Meeting of Toys Hello? Check? That better? Great. Everybody hear me? When Sheriff Woody summons the toys to a meeting, there's something that is hidden behind him. Have you seen them? The books on the shelf in Andy's room have the names of some Pixar shorts, such as The Adventures of Andre and Wally B, The Red's Dream, Tin Toy, and Knick Knack. Which one's your favorite? I, I can't, I can't tell. Number 8. Bugs 
To discover the following hidden secret, you must have an enviable falcon eye and be extremely attentive. Watch my eyes, don't look away. In Toy Story 2, while Mrs. Potato Head reads a book, there appears an image of a scene of Bugs, a bug's life. But was this film that good that it had the honor of being in a Toy Story scene? Bad grasshopper! Bad grasshopper! Go home! Sure, it won two awards at the Broadcast Film Critics Association Award. Great. One success. One is Best Animated Film and the other one in the category of Best Family Film. Highly acclaimed. Happy landings, Hopper! Number 9. Heimlich Bugs and More Bugs in a scene from Toy Story 2 in which Buzz Lightyear is directing an expedition to rescue Woody from the crabs of Al McWiggin, the gluttonous green caterpillar from A Bug's Life named Bim Heimlich appears on a branch, although you have to be a little fast to notice it. I wonder, why so many bugs? Will there be any sequel to this movie? Get him! Number 10. The Restorer the old man who hypnotized us with the great detail with which he fixed Woody is the same one who appears as the main character of a Pixar short film called Jerry's Game, where you can watch him playing cheese with himself. This short film was projected as the opening of the film Bugs, A Bug's Life and Home on the Range, and turned out to be so good that it won the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film in 1998. <laughs> Number 11. His Spatial Friend Despite that he goes to college, Andy will always be a laughing boy. Yeehaw! <laughs> and a great proof of this is that he still preserves the Buzz Lightyear poster. Okay, although part of this is covered by another one, it can be seen that Buzz was a very special toy for Andy. And you, do you still have a childhood memory? I do. Hey. Number 12, Mysterious Carpet. Okay, this secret is a bit terrifying. I don't think that's daylight. The carpet in the hall of Sid's house, the mini Dr. Frankenstein, is inspired by the carpet that appears in the movie The Shining from 1980, and that was based on Stephen King's novel. Yes, it's the carpet on which Danny Torrance, the main character's son, rode his trike before trying to get into the mysterious room 237. Watch out for the axe! Here's Johnny! <laughs> 13. License Plate of Compressing Garbage Truck Continuing with the nods from the film The Shining, which earned $44 million only in the United States, we can see the numbers 237 on the license plate of the compressing garbage truck where Buzz Lightyear, Jesse, and the others almost end up by mistake. Believe gotta be a way out. Oh, Andy doesn't want us. What's the point? This refers to the famous Room 237 where the sinister events occurred. What is the fascination of the Toy Story producers with The Shining? Anything you say. Number 14, Ada. The obsession with bugs didn't stop at Toy Story 3. You got a play date with destiny. Because I discovered that some letters on the wall of this scene formed the word Ada, which refers to none other than Princess Ada from the movie Bugs, A Bug's Life. Oh, princess, my, aren't you looking lovely this morning? Just like that, these insects invade Toy Story once again. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Since we talked about princesses, don't you believe that Ada should be a part of the official list of Disney princesses? Thanks. <clears throat> First of all... We know she has antennas and wings, but she's the eldest daughter of the Queen of the Ant Colony and also is the heiress of the throne of Antland. I demand an explanation! Are you saying I'm stupid? Number 15, Binford. When the ruthless Sid keeps Buzz and Woody in captivity, the cowboy cell is secured with the weight of a toolbox of a very peculiar brand, Binford. Uh, where have I heard that name before? Okay, everybody. Oh, sure. It's the name of a fictitious company of the successful American television sitcom Home Improvement that was broadcasted by the ABC network from 1991 to 1999. Curiously, Tim Allen's acting career, the official voice of Buzz Lightyear, was catapulted by this program. Now let's move out! In this series, the actor played Tim Taylor, a stereotypical American man who loves power tools, cars, and sports. Does that sound familiar to you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Number 16, Buzz's Name. 
Can you believe that at the beginning, my beloved space hero had possible names like Lunar Larry or Tempest from Morph? Ugh. Oh, that is disgusting. Luckily, it was Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. In the end, it was like so much better, isn't it? This name was chosen as a tribute to astronaut Buzz Aldrin, who was the second person to walk on the moon. And since we're talking about Buzz, did you know that in 2007, the British Empire magazine chose him as the best Pixar character? Yes, just like you hear it. A Buzz Lightyear? No way! In addition, he was dismissed as one of the greatest movie characters of all time, too. I'm so sorry, Woody. So this is it? But it seems that Buzz took his iconic phrase pretty seriously. To infinity and beyond! Oops, uh, editing mistake. To infinity and beyond! Number 17. Newt? In Toy Story 3, I discovered some curious lizards images with the name of Newt. One is at the door of Andy's bedroom and the other one in a traffic signal. But what do these curious images mean? Oh, why? Why? The lizards refer to the movie Newt, which would have been the 14th feature-length film of the studio, but its premiere was cancelled. Actually, the film was originally scheduled for summer 2011, and then it was postponed to 2012. However, the movie Brave was announced for summer of that year, leaving Newt in the deepest darkness without announcing a new release date. It's rumored that the movie Rio would have had a similar plot to Newt, which is why it was cancelled. I would do anything for you. You know that, right? Would you like to watch it? Curiosity kills me. Number 18. Back to the Future How many times have you seen Back to the Future? It seems that Rex is really a fan of this film released in 1985. What's more, the worried dinosaur repeats the iconic phrase of Marty McFly, I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. He uses this phrase to express his anguish by believing Andy is going to replace him with a new dinosaur as a possible birthday present. That would be a total tragedy, not only for Rex, but also for me. But we can try again, right? Number 19, Bo Peep. Originally, they meant to use a Barbie doll as Woody's naughty girlfriend, but Mattel refused to grant the character's license to Disney. That's how Betty, the beautiful porcelain shepherdess, became part of the Toys clan. However, after the resounding success of Toy Story and the increase in sales of real toys like Mr. Potato Head, Mattel gave Disney an authorization to use Barbie dolls as characters in Toy Story 2 and 3. I'm Ken. Barbie? It's amazing how figures change the turn of history, right? Yeah. I'm just a couple of blocks away. Number 20, Tin Toys Toys. In Toy Story 3, you can see some terrified toys trying to hide from the return of the destruction machines that are the children from the nursery of the caterpillar room. This recreates a scene from the famous Pixar short film Tin Toy, where the toys hide from a fearsome baby. By the way, this short film from 1988 won an Oscar in the category of Best Animated Short Film. Deserved prize! I wouldn't miss it for the world. If you're a diehard fan of Toy Story, like it, subscribe, and activate the notification bell. Join to the great family of Trendbacks because I have a lot of incredible content only for you.